Hello everyone. It's James again. And before I start today's short video. I just want to quickly say. All work in this video contains 100% original content of and by myself James Smith, otherwise known as Bigood4000, and was uniquely created with normal software, by myself James Smith. As I purchased commercial rights from Normal to produce my unique and original video with this software. Commentary is uniquely my own thoughts, feelings, and expressions. Now that I have that out of the way. I do hope your day is going fantastic and your journey to self-betterment is going better than fantastic as well. Today I wanted to make a short video. While I'm still researching some things for my next upcoming videos. But I just wanted to briefly still talk about some things that are on my mind. Vetting. Being able to weed out and sidestep the narcissist and narcissism altogether. And it appears with each year and decade we keep losing and losing our ability to vet others properly. And our ability to get away from a narcissist if we get entangled in something like marriage. It has happened almost like it's in a process or in a sequence of steps almost. Almost like there are some people possibly. Possibly making this happen. I've said it before. I will say it again. Narcissists don't want you and anyone else that wants to try their best in life to be happy. And they don't want you to spread that happiness to others. And that's what tends to happen when you can meet someone that has the same mindset and goals. You might just create a functional family. Not a perfect family. But a functional one. One that is by and large happy. And as a result. You might just raise a son or daughter to be better than you are and were. And if you are doing that. And the person next to you is doing that. So forth and so on. Evil starts to take a back seat in life and will start to shrink. But if you can't vet the person you are with. And you get tangled up in this mess and that mess with this narcissist and that narcissist. Almost all of your life's potential is wasted on nothing. And that's exactly what the narcissist and other narcissists want. They don't want happiness and love and joy to spread. They don't want that at all. I think if people could take a step back and see why relationships are failing. I mean truly failing. They might be able to take a step back and say no more. We need some changes here. We see all the time. Birth rates are down. And marriage rates are down. Divorces are up. Wedding shops are closing. And those reporting on it seem to act like they don't know what is going on. When in reality they quite possibly do know what is going on. They just don't want to say. Because a great many benefit off of healthy relationships becoming very hard to come by. So no one is saying the obvious. It takes time to get to know someone. And all of those avenues in which someone got to know someone for a potential life partner early on in their life have been for the most part taken away. Here's the thing I want you to ponder and think about. Life. Life is and can be a difficult difficult journey. Why is there so many people seemingly invested in you going through this hard journey alone? Huh. Why? If this person and that person so called cared about you and your best interests. Why wouldn't this be a top priority? We as a people can be more productive if we were able to form a partnership with someone loving. Decent. And that is on the same page as us. But instead division is sown. And one person has been pit against the other. And chaotic relationships have become the norm. Yet those reporting on it can't for some reason get a grasp on why this is. Strange don't you think? Slowing things down vetting and having boundaries are important tools important tools the narcissist doesn't want you to have well that's all i have for today stay tuned as i will be talking some more about some deep or what i feel are deep topics with that said i do hope your day is blessed and until next time bye for now and be good to yourself